Su Da Chiang traveled to the world of the TV series, Everything is Well, and became Su Da Chiang with the same name and surname. At the beginning, there were three children, the eldest Su Mingzhi studying abroad in the United States, the second Su Mingqing achieving nothing, and the third Su Mingyu still studying. They were bound to the multi-child and multi-happiness system, successfully living the second spring of the elderly night running ran into Julie who had been drugged, and her soul was engulfed, causing her to become pregnant the next day, I received a reward from an investment company and upon inspecting the company, I discovered that my secretary was actually the gentle and charming Wu Fei accompanying Julie for prenatal checkups, I met doctors Jiang Xiaoqi and Lu Chenzi, arranged for my daughter Su Mingyu to go to school, met teaching assistant Pei Duo, and school flower He Xinyan and class flower Tang Chi Chi looked at him with admiration Failu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Introduction You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 1 I became Su De, forcing rewards for monthly tickets. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Have you ever seen Mingyu? I'm 15 years old. So tall. In the TV, expressionless Su Da Chiang was walking in the alley in front of the old house, pulling the crying Su Mingyu. In front of the TV, Lu Ming's wife was holding a box of tissues and crying uncontrollably. Lu Ming, however, was full of displeasure and muttered, whitening. This is forced whitewashing. Su Da Chiang, this terrible old man, is very bad. Why did he get sick and become a good person? Lu Ming's daughter dot in dot law threw a damp tissue at her and cursed, you're such a cold-blooded person. Su Da Chiang clearly loves his daughter, okay. How can you still resist crying? Hey. Can we talk about different opinions? Why are you littering tissues? Lu Ming helplessly picked up the tissues that had already been thrown all over the ground and put them in a plastic bag. Humph, what do you say? It's just your cold-blooded personality. Why am I so cold-blooded? Let's watch TV and be reasonable, okay? Look, Su Da Chiang did that before, you also scolded him all the way, right? Lu Ming said. Lu Ming's daughter Dot in Dot Law, on the other hand, had completely changed her camp and cried as she said, although he used to be a bit arrogant, Su Da Chiang still loved his children. You see, he has lost his memory, but he still can't forget his love for his children. Daughter-in-law, be clear-headed. These are all fabricated by the screenwriter. If he really loved his children so much, he wouldn't have done that before. Why did you just fabricate it? Looking back now, Su Da Chiang's appearance is quite cute. Dot. Lu Ming was choked and speechless for a moment. After a slight adjustment of his thoughts, he said, Look, when Su Da Chiang bought a big house, he disregarded his eldest son's actual economic conditions. Can this call him loving his children? He didn't know that Su Mingzhi didn't have the money to grow up. Those two sons have divorced because of what he did, and Su Da Chiang is unwilling to apologize to his own family. Can this make him love his children? Isn't that all done by Su Mingqing himself? Beating women, scumbags. So, what did he do to Su Mingyu? His daughter was beaten by his son, but he didn't even fart. But Su Da Chiang is sick and still thinking about buying a problem set for his daughter. It's really touching. If you could love me like Su Da Chiang loves Mingyu in the future, that would be great. Humph, you guys, you guys, they all talk good, but they're actually big pig hooves. Hey. You just watch TV, why am I still shot while lying down? Besides, you've made a scene with that line, you know. Lu Ming felt that he couldn't stay in this place of trouble anymore. Women who are too engrossed in watching TV can't afford it. Picking up his cigarette and lighter, Lu Ming hid on the terrace. This TV series was originally well watched, but the forced whitewashing in the last few episodes made him unable to continue watching. 
Let's leave this happy ending for the daughter. In law to be moved inside the house. Lighting a cigarette, Lu Ming leaned on the railing of the terrace and looked into the distance. Although he was not satisfied with the ending of the TV series, his continuous pursuit of the show for several days still kept his thoughts stuck in the plot. But what he's thinking now is, if he's a character in the drama. He he, he definitely needs to deal with that old monster Su Da Qian well. Suddenly, there was a violent shake under my feet. Lu Ming was taken aback and said, is it an earthquake? He turned his head and looked into the room, only to see his wife still sitting steadily on the sofa, wiping tears while watching TV without any unusual reaction. But. Why would my feet shake so badly? Before Lu Ming could think more, he felt the terrace under his feet completely soften, and he suddenly fell down. Damn it, did the terrace collapse. I can't do it. The window below the terrace is downstairs Lu Ming ultimately couldn't figure out what had happened, as he gradually lost consciousness during the high dot speed descent. Am I already dead? This is Lu Ming's first thought after his consciousness recovered. Then he opened his eyes and saw a dusty ceiling. Ha! Huh. Where am I? This room. Looks so dilapidated. So old Lu Ming sat up propped up and looked around, feeling that the furnishings in the room looked familiar, but he couldn't remember exactly where it was. At this moment, a woman's voice outside suddenly shouted, Su Da Qiang, why don't you get up and heat up breakfast for the child? Lu Ming was so frightened that his whole body was in a state of excitement. He said to himself, who is unlucky to have such a bad name as Su Da Qiang? However, the door was immediately pushed open. A woman in her forties walked in quickly and stared at Lu Ming, saying loudly, What are you doing? If you don't get up quickly to cook, the children will be late for school. You. Were you talking to me just now? Lu Ming asked incredulously. The woman was stunned for a moment, then narrowed her eyes slightly and said fiercely, Okay, Su Da Qiang. You learn to pretend to be confused with me, right? I won't talk to you. Is there a second person in this room? Lu Ming exclaimed, No. I'm not Su Da Qiang. Did you mistake the person? Who are you? The woman's face suddenly turned cold. Seeing her searching around, I'm afraid she's not looking for a suitable guy to take action, right? Lu Ming was extremely panicked and didn't know what to do when he heard another voice coming from outside. Mom, is the food hot yet? I'm hungry. Ming Cheng, you go wash yourself first, and the food will be hot after washing. Su Da Qiang, I won't say anything twice, so hurry up and heat up your breakfast. Don't make me angry at you. The woman spoke softly to Lu Ming outside, but when she turned around, she was so fierce that it made her liver tremble. After speaking, the woman turned around and left the room, unsure of what else to keep busy with. Is this? Is this the divine horse situation? Lu Ming only felt that everything was in chaos. Didn't I originally watch TV with my wife? Later, I went to the terrace to smoke a cigarette then, it seemed like an earthquake and I fell off the terrace and then. How did it end up like this? What is the situation with Su Da Qiang? Lu Ming got out of bed and was about to follow out of the room to take a look, but accidentally turned his head and saw himself reflected in the mirror on the cabinet. My face is a bit yellowish, with big eye bags and deep wrinkles. I think I should look at least fifty years old, right? Lu Ming couldn't help but shiver. This face. It's not my face. Lu Ming suddenly realized that he seemed to have become someone else. Approaching the cabinet, Lu Ming carefully examined the face in the mirror. He realized with horror that the face looked somewhat like the young version of Nai Dahong. Or rather, it's like Su Da Qiang when he was young. Lu Ming let out a scream of fear, took a few steps back, and hit his leg on the edge of the bed, almost falling. He sat down against the edge of the bed, feeling a mess in his heart. Su Da Qiang. Why haven't we come out for hot food yet? The woman's voice roared again outside the room. 
looking back carefully, the woman's appearance just now. Really looks like Zhao Mylan on TV. Lu Ming is completely foolish. What kind of sin did you create yourself? I, how could I be Su Da Chiang? Chapter 2 Jie Hu Zhuli You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 2 Multi-child and multi-blessing system, Su Da Chiang leaves. You are listening at NovelFull.audio No. I'm not Su Da Chiang. I don't heat the food. I want to go home. Lu Ming was lying on the edge of the bed, very eager to cry. I was suddenly thrown into a TV series, and this unscientific thing won't be mentioned for now. Just talking about my newlywed Yenner, I haven't had a few sweet days with my little daughter dot in dot law yet, so I coldly changed it to Zhao Mylan who can bear this. The most important thing is that the functions of Ben Wu have also begun to deteriorate before Lu Ming could cry, Zhao Mylan appeared at the door as soon as it opened. This time Zhao Mylan didn't shout anymore, she just stared at Lu Ming with a fierce light in her eyes. Lu Ming only felt a chill surge from the back of his spine to the back of his head. Subconsciously, he stood up and silently walked towards the kitchen dammit. What's going on? Did Su Da Qiang's cowardice attribute also be imposed on him? Lu Ming put the food on the fire and heated it up, feeling depressed as he thought to himself. No way. I can't be cowardly. When I was watching TV, didn't I look down on Su Da Qiang the most? But. Why does a strong sense of fear always emerge from the bottom of my heart when I see Zhao Mylan? Is it really a mandatory character attribute bonus? Suddenly, there was a clatter in the courtyard, and Zhao Mylan was dressed neatly, pushing her bicycle out. Ah! Why did she run away first when I was busy here alone? Lu Ming muttered like a resentful woman. A young man of 18 or 19 years old walked over while brushing his teeth and said, Mom has to go to work early every day to check the bed, how hard it is. Let you heat up our meal for us, what's wrong? No need to ask, as soon as you hear his tone of voice, this kid must be Su Mingcheng. Originally, in the TV series, Su Mingcheng was whitewashed, and Lu Ming's impression of him has improved significantly. Unexpectedly, I was scolded at the first meeting, and my boss felt unhappy. With a calm face, he said, it will be heated up soon. Rinse your teeth quickly and come over to serve dinner. Su Mingcheng turned around gracefully and called out to the room, Su Mingyu, come out and serve rice. Deng deng deng. A thin and small girl ran out of the room and brushed past Su Mingcheng. Coming into the kitchen, skillfully holding bowls, chopsticks, and plates, it seems that one often does these household chores. Lu Ming and Xiao Mingyu brought the hot food to the table together. Without him speaking, Su Mingyu had already started serving rice in various bowls. There were a total of four empty bowls on the table, but Su Mingyu only filled three bowls, leaving one empty bowl left unattended. Breakfast is all simple meals, and there's nothing to wait for. Whoever comes out first, they each pick up their bowls and prepare to eat. Su Mingcheng was the last one to run out and saw only an empty bowl left on the table. He exclaimed discontentedly, Su Mingyu, why didn't you serve me rice? Su Mingyu glanced at him and said coldly, Haven't you grown your own hands? Can't you handle it yourself? Hey, did you talk to my brother like that? If you don't give me sheng, I'll eat your bowl. He said as he reached out to grab the rice bowl from Su Mingyu's hand. Of course, Su Mingyu refused to submit, but unfortunately, she couldn't match the strength and arm length of her second brother. In just a few moments, she was snatched away from her job. He 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 he, Su Mingcheng smiled proudly. Su Mingyu was angry and angry, tears swirling weakly in her eyes. Bang! Lu Ming slapped the table heavily. The three children were so shocked that they all widened their eyes and looked at this cowardly father who usually dared not breathe loudly. Yes, even in the eyes of children, Su Daqiang is a cowardly coward. 
but Lu Ming doesn't want to continue like this. Enough, everyone give me a good meal. Mingqing, are you not good at it yourself? You insist on bullying your sister. Upon hearing that Su Daqiang was angry, Su Mingqing reluctantly went to prepare his own meal. After eating, Su Daqiang didn't care about the pots and pans and went straight to work. He works as a librarian, doing some miscellaneous work and his salary is not high. In the original TV series, we could see that their family conditions were actually very tight. Lu Ming doesn't want this to happen. Money is a man's courage, and without it, he can't survive for a minute. A poor family is full of sorrow furthermore, he could not continue to live with Zhao Mylan anymore, as he was not the original scapegoat or loser. He wants to support himself. Just as he came up with this idea, an electronic sound immediately appeared in his mind. Ding, suitable host detected, multi-child multi-foo system binding. Successfully bound, activating system. Upon hearing these sounds, Lu Ming was stunned. Chapter 3 The Collapse of Su Mingcheng You are listening at NovelFull.audio the source has no content or has errors. Chapter 3 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. No. I'm not Su Da Chiang. I don't heat the food. I want to go home. Lu Ming was lying on the edge of the bed, very eager to cry. I was suddenly thrown into a TV series, and this unscientific thing won't be mentioned for now. Just talking about my newlywed Yenner. I haven't had a few sweet days with my little daughter. In. Law yet, so I coldly changed it to Zhao Mylan who can bear this. The most important thing is that the functions of Ben Wu have also begun to deteriorate before Lu Ming could cry, Zhao Mylan appeared at the door as soon as it opened. This time Zhao Mylan didn't shout anymore, she just stared at Lu Ming with a fierce light in her eyes. Lu Ming only felt a chill surge from the back of his spine to the back of his head. Subconsciously, he stood up and silently walked towards the kitchen damn it. What's going on? Did Su Daqiang's cowardice attribute also be imposed on him? Lu Ming put the food on the fire and heated it up, feeling depressed as he thought to himself. No way. I can't be cowardly. When I was watching TV, didn't I look down on Su Daqiang the most? But... Why does a strong sense of fear always emerge from the bottom of my heart when I see Zhao Mylan? Is it really a mandatory character attribute bonus? Suddenly, there was a clatter in the courtyard, and Zhao Mylan was dressed neatly, pushing her bicycle out. Ah! Why did she run away first when I was busy here alone? Lu Ming muttered like a resentful woman. A young man of 18 or 19 years old walked over while brushing his teeth and said, Mom has to go to work early every day to check the bed, how hard it is. Let you heat up our meal for us, what's wrong? No need to ask, as soon as you hear his tone of voice, this kid must be Su Mingcheng. Originally, in the TV series, Su Mingcheng was whitewashed, and Lu Ming's impression of him has improved significantly. Unexpectedly, I was scolded at the first meeting, and my boss felt unhappy. With a calm face, he said, it will be heated up soon. Rinse your teeth quickly and come over to serve dinner. Su Mingcheng turned around gracefully and called out to the room, Su Mingyu, come out and serve rice. Dang dang dang. A thin and small girl ran out of the room and brushed past Su Mingcheng. Coming into the kitchen, skillfully holding bowls, chopsticks, and plates, it seems that one often does these household chores. Lu Ming and Xiao Mingyu brought the hot food to the table together. Without him speaking, Su Mingyu had already started serving rice in various bowls. There were a total of four empty bowls on the table, but Su Mingyu only filled three bowls, leaving one empty bowl left unattended. Breakfast is all simple meals, and there's nothing to wait for. Whoever comes out first, they each pick up their bowls and prepare to eat. Su Mingcheng was the last one to run out and saw only an empty bowl left on the table. He exclaimed discontentedly, Su Mingyu, why didn't you serve me rice? Su Mingyu glanced at him and said coldly, haven't you grown your own hands? 
can't you handle it yourself? Hey, did you talk to my brother like that? If you don't give me Sheng, I'll eat your bowl. He said as he reached out to grab the rice bowl from Su Mingyu's hand. Of course, Su Mingyu refused to submit, but unfortunately, she couldn't match the strength and arm length of her second brother. In just a few moments, she was snatched away from her job. He 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 he, Su Mingcheng smiled proudly. Su Mingyu was angry and angry, tears swirling weakly in her eyes. Bang! Lu Ming slapped the table heavily. The three children were so shocked that they all widened their eyes and looked at this cowardly father who usually dared not breathe loudly. Yes, even in the eyes of children, Su Daqiang is a cowardly coward. But Lu Ming doesn't want to continue like this. Enough, everyone give me a good meal. Mingcheng, are you not good at it yourself? You insist on bullying your sister. Upon hearing that Su Daqiang was angry, Su Mingcheng reluctantly went to prepare his own meal. After eating, Su Daqiang didn't care about the pots and pans and went straight to work. He works as a librarian, doing some miscellaneous work and his salary is not high. In the original TV series, we could see that their family conditions were actually very tight. Lu Ming doesn't want this to happen. Money is a man's courage, and without it, he can't survive for a minute. A poor family is full of sorrow furthermore, he could not continue to live with Zhao Mylan anymore, as he was not the original scapegoat or loser. He wants to support himself. Just as he came up with this idea, an electronic sound immediately appeared in his mind. Ding, suitable host detected, multi-child multi-foo system binding. Successfully bound, activating system. Upon hearing these sounds, Lu Ming was stunned. Chapter 4 Successful Activation of Multi-Child and Multi-Foo System You are listening at NovelFull.audio Forget it, let's go to work first. Su Daqiang noticed that the activation speed of the system was relatively slow, so he decided to work first. The middle school library is not too big, a small building with three floors and two librarians arranged on each floor. This workload is indeed quite easy. Because there are very few students who come to the library early in the morning, the requirements for working hours here are not very strict. But Lu Ming had already tidied up his bookshelf for half a day, and another librarian on the same floor arrived late, which made Lu Ming feel very unhappy. If Su Daqiang's memory is correct, then another librarian named Wang Fugue, who is two years younger than himself, is the brother in law of Gao Jiangwo, the director of the school's personnel department. It was thanks to Director Gao's connections that Wang Fugue was arranged to be on the same floor as Su Daqiang. Because everyone knows that Su Daqiang is a coward, can he be bullied to do more work? Wang Fugue arrived at the library and sat down in his seat, munching on melon seeds while remotely controlling Lu Ming's work. Su Daqiang, there were a few books that were just returned yesterday. I put them on the edge of the second row bookshelf. You can put them back later. Hey, Su Daqiang, haven't you wiped the bookshelf for a few days? Remember to wipe it later. By the way, I have a book list here that my brother in law wants to borrow. Remember to find it all today, so I can send it to my brother in law later. Lu Ming didn't originally want to talk to this person, but he kept nagging endlessly, which was really annoying. And they are all average librarians, why does he sit there like a leader, directing others to do their work? Dong! Lu Ming slammed the book in his hand onto the shelf and said, Put the books you collected back and find the books your brother in law wants to borrow. I wiped the shelf last time, so it should be your turn to wipe it this time. Yo ho! Wang Fugue never expected that Su Daqiang would say these words. He was stunned for a while and suddenly jumped up from his seat, shouting, What's wrong? Su Daqiang, you're not willing to do some work with your school salary. Lu understood him with a glance and said, I'll do my job. Whoever doesn't work here knows it well. Hearing this, Wang Fugue became more angry. He immediately left his seat and strode straight to Lu Ming, scolding. 
Su Da Qiang, who are you talking about? Are you looking for a fight? On weekdays, Wang Fugue relied on his brother Dot in Dot Law's support and often bullied Su Da Qiang. Moreover, Su Da Qiang has a timid personality and was demoted and sent here due to his violation of rules and regulations. Generally, when Wang Fugue asks him to do something, he never dares to resist. Today, not only did they resist, but their words were also quite fierce and their attitude was quite resolute. This makes Wang Fugue feel that Su Da Qiang is going to rebel. If this unhealthy trend is not immediately suppressed in the cradle, can future work still proceed smoothly? So Wang Fugue made a decisive move. Anyway, he believed that Su Da Qiang would never dare to fight back. Otherwise, one sentence from his brother Dot In Dot Law, who works as the director of the Human Resources Department, could make Su Da Qiang unable to bear it. Unfortunately, he never expected that the Su Da Qiang in front of him today was no longer the same as before. Lu Ming was well prepared when he saw Wang Fugue walking towards him. On the surface, he was still placing books on the bookshelf, but the thick and large dictionary in his right hand remained firmly held, and there was no intention of putting it back on the bookshelf at all. Just as Wang Fugue punched him in the face, Lu Ming suddenly blocked the big dictionary in his hand bang. Wang Fugue punched the hard leather cover of the dictionary, causing his facial features to contort in pain. But this is not over yet, because Lu Ming is also full of anger, but he didn't expect to take advantage of the guy in front of him who wanted to beat him. Holding the big dictionary in both hands, it hit Wang Fugue's head with a loud bang. Wang Fugue was smashed and screamed incessantly, crawling out and even knocking down a row of bookshelves. After he finally escaped from Lu Ming's attack range, he got up and ran towards the outside of the library, shouting, Su Da Qiang, you dare to hit me. Wait. My brother Dot In Dot Law will definitely not let you go. Lu Ming snorted coldly and casually threw the large dictionary on the ground, thinking to himself. I don't care if you let Su Da Qiang go. I was really confused just now. Why did I come to work for Su Da Qiang? Humph, there's no need to complain to your brother. In. Law. I can tell you now that I won't do it anymore. In the future, whoever likes to do this terrible job will do it. After speaking, Su Da Qiang walked straight out of the library. Ding, system activation successful. Su Da Qiang's spirit was uplifted, I can't wait to start researching the system. System, what functions do you have? Introduce yourself. Ding, the full name of this system is, Life is Perfect, Multiple Children, and Multiple Blessings System. Due to the host's resentment and urgent desire to change the plot, this system has attracted the attention of the host. As long as the host gives birth to a child in this comprehensive film and television world, they will receive very generous rewards for every child they give birth to. The rewards are graded according to the character's positioning, and the rewards for female supporting and leading roles children given birth to are different. P.S. In the first episode of the TV series, Su Mingqing was already married and Su Mingyu had successfully started her own business. Therefore, the timeline written by Park Street is that Su Mingcheng, the second son, is not married yet and has not met Julie. Currently, he is a thug because he has failed his studies and Su Mingyu is still at Tsinghua University. Chapter 5 Book Fragrance and Elegant Garden Children Seeking Graceful Rewards and Seeking the Moon You are listening at NovelFull.audio System, do you have a beginner's gift package? Ding, the beginner gift pack has been distributed to the backpack, and the host can open it and collect it on their own. Without any hesitation, Su Da Qiang silently recited in his heart, Receive the beginner gift pack. Ding, successfully claimed. The beginner gift package has automatically opened. Congratulations on receiving one bottle of age reducing potion, one set of city center decorated small western. style buildings, one set of high. quality school district property in Xuxiang Yayuan, and a cash reward of 1 million yuan. Because Su Da Qiang's phone is still an elderly phone and there is no bound phone number, it is not possible to check the bank card balance. 
However, the distance from here to the bank was not particularly far. He quickened his pace, carrying an excited heart in trembling hands, and took his bank card from home. He specifically went to the bank to take a look, and indeed, there were eight digits lying quietly on the account. Money is a man's courage. With money, doing many things will be much more convenient, let alone having two properties in his hands. As for the age-reducing medication, he was not in a hurry to use it. At present, he has another more important thing to do, which is divorce. System, if I divorce Xiao Mylan, my assets won't be divided, will they? Ding, please rest assured that no one can discover or divide your property unless it is voluntarily gifted by the host. That way, I can rest assured. Without any worries, Su Daqiang walked briskly back home. His eldest son, Su Mingzhi, was abroad, and his second son, Su Mingqing, was wandering around outside. It was normal for him to stay away from home every three to five days, and his daughter, Su Mingyu, was living in school without coming back. The huge family was falling apart this is the sorrow of poverty. Coincidentally, Zhao Mylan had just returned from work. When she returned home, she saw that Su Daqiang was indifferent, and her face couldn't help but chill a bit. She said, why don't you cook when you come back from work? And this house, if you don't tidy it up, just sweep the floor. Su Daqiang looked at her expressionlessly until Zhao Mylan realized something was wrong. What are you watching me do? I'm waiting for you to finish speaking. I've finished speaking. That's it. Now it's my turn, Zhao Mylan. Let's get divorced. I don't want to talk to you about anything. The children have all grown up and can take care of themselves. I've endured it for over a decade, just for this moment. I can leave the house and my family's property without any money. What are you saying? Zhao Mylan didn't react for a moment. I said, I want to divorce you. Zhao Mylan's face finally changed and she said, Su Daqiang, are you crazy? You can say such things too. Su Daqiang said calmly, for this family, I have been working hard for over a decade. Now that my children have grown up, it's time to give me back my freedom. Let's get a divorce. You. Zhao Mylan's lips trembled, never expecting that Su Daqiang would divorce her. No, I disagree. It doesn't make any sense if you don't agree. Starting from today, I will leave this home. As I said, I don't want any money for the house and property at home. I will find a way to pay for Mingyu's tuition. You can take good care of yourself in the future. By the way, I will give you two days to consider. Later, I will have someone send you the divorce agreement. If you understand, please call me. If it takes more than two days, I will apologize and file a lawsuit with the court for divorce. After speaking, Su Daqiang left straight away, while Zhao Mylan was stunned. Today's experience was like a bolt from the blue for her Su Daqiang seems to have completely changed, unfamiliar yet ruthless but Su Daqiang simply tidied up his personal belongings at home and left straight away. How about Zhao Mylan? He doesn't care. What he cares about is when Zhao Mylan will agree to divorce her, and for the system he is bound to, divorce is definitely the best choice. Getting married and then going to pick up girls is a violation of the law. Divorcing and being single, going to pick up girls is at most a moral issue. He still had a clear understanding of which one was more important. Su Daqiang did not go directly to the city center, but found a hotel to stay in, and then went to buy a fruit smartphone, spending nearly $10,000. Immediately after, he tirelessly worked on the divorce agreement, as his demands were very concise and clear. He left the house with no property, and his three children were already adults. He also needed to pay support to Zhao Mylan. Moreover, Su Daqiang does not have the habit of raising a son for others. Su Mingcheng, Su Mingyu, and Su Mingzhi are the original seeds, what is the relationship with him? He only agreed to support Su Mingyu because he saw the little girl pitifully fulfill one of his wishes. Now that he has money, he naturally does whatever he thinks in his heart. 
Poor people tend to worry a lot, while wealthy people tend to be stubborn and get things done. During this period, Zhao Mylan also called her relatives and friends frequently, asking them to persuade some Su Daqiang, but all of them were rejected by Su Daqiang and her attitude was tough. After finalizing the divorce agreement, he immediately sent it to Zhao Mylan and repeatedly expressed his attitude that this marriage was inevitable. Chapter 6 The Body Fragrance of a Girl, Xiao Yingzi Seeks Rewards You are listening at NovelFull.audio During this period, Zhao Mylan also called her relatives and friends frequently, asking them to persuade some Su Daqiang, but all of them were rejected by Su Daqiang and her attitude was tough. After finalizing the divorce agreement, he immediately sent it to Zhao Mylan and repeatedly expressed his attitude that this marriage was inevitable. A day and a half later, Zhao Mylan may also know that the other party has made up her mind and she cannot keep Su Daqiang, so she signed her name on the divorce agreement. At the same time, the two of them took the time to go to the Civil Affairs Bureau again to collect their divorce certificate. Looking at the red divorce certificate, Su Daqiang felt quite relieved. He's free now. After obtaining the divorce certificate, Su Daqiang left without any attachment. The next morning, Su Daqiang called a taxi and rushed to the Xuxiang Yayuan in the city center. He didn't rush to see Xia Yangla, but came to Xuxiang Yayuan. If I remember correctly, this should also be the place where he appeared in a play he had watched. He felt that the place names were very familiar, so he decided to come and take a look first. About two hours later, the taxi arrived at Xuxiang Yayuan. After Su Daqiang paid, he got off the car and walked into the community, the greening of the entire community is done very well, with a beautiful environment. Moreover, this is a school district house with a superior geographical location. People who own a property here are basically either wealthy or expensive. It is truly a system product. Su Daqiang smiled slightly and continued to walk forward. However, at this moment, at the bend of the flower bed, a figure quickly ran over. When Su Daqiang wanted to dodge, it was already too late. After all, his body was old and frail, and he was already late in life. It was normal for him to not react in time. So the two of them solidly put on a full embrace, with a faint and elusive fragrance wafting into Su Daqiang's nostrils. Refreshing to the heart and soul, although Su Daqiang is an elderly person, at least he is an adult. He just stepped back a few steps after being hit, and his chest slowly hurts. Apart from that, there is no major problem. On the other hand, the other party let out a ouch and fell to the ground. Su Daqiang fixed his eyes and saw that it was a young girl who had hit him. She looked young, tied up in a ponytail, and wearing a blue and white short sleeved school uniform. The little girl fell hard to the ground, but fortunately she timely supported the ground behind her with her own hands, which prevented her head from hitting the ground. At this moment, an anxious voice also came along. Ingzi, Ingzi, what are you saying about your child running so fast? I can't even catch up with you. Why did you fall again? Are you okay? Get up quickly. Song Qian quickly bent down and went to pull his daughter Xiao Yingzi up. Su Daqiang felt a bit embarrassed and said, Sorry, I didn't see this little girl running around the corner. Are you okay? Xiao Yingzi patted her hands and the dust on her pants, and said with a gloomy expression, I'm fine. I'm sorry, I ran too quickly and didn't see anyone here. Originally, Song Qian was going to get angry, but as soon as she saw that Su Daqiang was an elderly man and his daughter had not been hurt much, she immediately said, it's our fault for this. Our family hit you. Grandpa, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Although being called an uncle made Su Daqiang feel a bit depressed, he still responded with a smile. Okay, since you have nothing to do, we'll leave first. Ingzi, hurry up, otherwise you'll be late for school for a while. Song Qian also didn't care about being polite to Su Daqiang, mainly because Xiao Yingzi was supposed to be late for school. After seeing her off to school, she had to turn around and go to work. Being late will result in salary deductions. 
After speaking, the two beautiful women, one big and one small, left in a frenzy, carrying a gust of fragrance that even made Su Daqiang a little intoxicated. Although in his forties and fifties, his soul was still a young man in his twenties and full of vitality from the previous life. If it were a young body, it would probably have been boiling with blood, and the dragon would have looked up. But with this dying body, there was no response at all, only Su Daqiang's own heart was itching. That mother-daughter couple just now should be Xiaoingzi and Song Qian, right? Su Daqiang has recognized them. Although they are mother and daughter, they are more like a pair of sister's flowers. A woman in her forties or fifties is not qualified to despise a woman in her thirties. Just now, when Xiao Yingzi was pulled up by Song Qian, there was a forward-leaning movement, and the blue and white short-sleeved school uniform was slightly loose. Some of the scenery that should not have been seen was fully visible. The up-and-coming lotus just bud, a dragonfly has already stood on it. Unfortunately, one's heart is powerless. Su Daqiang can't wait to use the age-reducing potion gifted by the system. Thinking of this, he had no intention of wandering around the community and walked straight towards his own floor. He is on the golden floor, the fifth floor. After opening the door with the key, Su Daqiang looked at the meticulously decorated house with all kinds of household appliances and furniture, and nodded in satisfaction. The system produces high-dot quality products, and indeed the system is sincere, not deceiving me. Chapter 7 Improving Life, Seeking Rewards, Seeking Monthly Passes, Seeking Flowers You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Thinking of this, he had no intention of wandering around the community and walked straight towards his own floor. He is on the golden floor, the fifth floor. After opening the door with the key, Su Daqiang looked at the meticulously decorated house with all kinds of household appliances and furniture, and nodded in satisfaction. The system produces high-dot quality products, and indeed the system is sincere, not deceiving me. This property, if left outside, is not worth several million or even close to tens of millions. Don't try to take it down. One reason is that the housing prices are indeed high now, and the other reason is that it is close to Chunfeng Middle School, after all, Chunfeng Middle School is one of the key high schools in the district. It is said that the college entrance examination is a crossroads of life choices, and whether it is a dragon or a worm depends on the results of this year. As parents, we always hope to give the best resources to our children. So the real estate in Xuxiang Yayuan is so hot, and Su Daqiang's set in his hand is a total of 180 square meters, which refers to the net area and does not include public stalls. Otherwise, adding public stalls would result in a total area of about 200 square meters. In short, Su Daqiang is very satisfied with this property. After admiring the house, Su Daqiang took out the age-reducing potion rewarded by the system. A bottle with a height of chalk and a thumb-thick beaker contained a crystal-clear blue liquid, which looked like a dream, but seemed to contain some mysterious power. He looked at the instructions for use. Age-reducing potion. Oral, randomly age-reducing for about 10.20 years, and to some extent improve physical fitness, effectively treat acne in dark wounds, and achieve the most perfect state of the human body. Note. Change is not something that can be achieved overnight, and it is important to exercise continuously and effectively, making it easier for your surrounding population to accept. Gently sniffed, there was no special smell, and Su Daqiang was still very satisfied with the medicinal effect. He was originally worried that if he changed too much, he would be reported and taken for slicing research. But what should he do? Now there's no need to worry at all. Subsequently, Su Daqiang swallowed without hesitation. With a smack of his mouth, the taste was a bit like a cocktail, and the beaker in his hand was replaced with fragments, slowly disappearing. Without feeling any changes in his body, Su Daqiang stood up and prepared to take a look in front of the mirror. I never imagined that as soon as I got together, my eyes turned black, and my body softened before I fell on my head. I don't know how long it took but Su Daqiang slowly woke up. 
As soon as he opened his eyes, an indescribable stench hit his face. Nausea. Su Duqiang retched for a moment and then saw that his whole body was covered in black mud, with some dark red and white mud grooves under pressure. In short, the smell was more than ten times foul than that of stool. Holy crap Su Duqiang, who has read many novels, knows that this should be the legendary cleaning of hair and marrow, as well as the removal of magazines from the body. Unexpectedly, the anti-dot-aging potion still had this effect. Su Duqiang was pleasantly surprised, but immediately got up and rushed towards the bathroom. I spent a few minutes rinsing it, then stood in front of the floor mirror and looked at myself. Not to mention that my capital has become stronger, even my height has skyrocketed a lot. Although I don't know exactly how tall I am, it seems that I am currently at least 1.8 meters tall. More importantly, the dying body is now full of infinite vitality, with a withered and wrinkled face that has become smooth and fair, and skin that has become firm. It looks much younger, but it's not particularly exaggerated to an unacceptable level. At most, he is about five or six years younger than before, but the effect is long dot lasting. He has just successfully achieved a 20-year reduction in age. Looking at his current appearance, Su Daqiang smiled with satisfaction. At least he didn't look like an elderly person anymore, but rather exuded endless vitality. After cleaning for a while, Su Daqiang wrapped himself in a towel and left the bathroom. Fortunately, when he left home, he brought his own change of clothes, otherwise he might have had no clothes to wear. However, looking at the old clothes, Su Daqiang felt that he should take some time to buy a few good sets of clothes. Wearing these clothes, even though he is young, he still looks like an old man. As the saying goes, people rely on clothing, and Buddha relies on gold clothing. Su Daqiang put on his old clothes with some disdain, then opened all the windows and went downstairs to the city to buy a bottle of air freshener and daily necessities. Because there were a lot of things missing at home, Su Daqiang had to run several times alone, which made him sigh. If there were a woman by his side, he wouldn't be alone but when he was young, he didn't feel tired, he just felt a bit troublesome and lonely. If there were a woman who knew both cold and hot, life would have a seasoning, and for Su Daqiang, this was naturally a necessity. Now he has settled down in the city center, on one hand to pursue his career, and on the other hand, he can also look for suitable candidates. Taking out his phone, Su Daqiang transferred 50,000 yuan to Su Mingyu's bank account, and soon Su Mingyu called to inquire. Dad, why did you suddenly transfer money to me? And you also transferred 50,000 yuan back to me. Su De forced a smile and said, Take what I transferred to you. Dad has never taken care of you before. Now that he has changed jobs, he doesn't need any money anymore. If he needs any money in the future, let him know. On the other end of the phone, Su Mingyu clearly choked up and said, Thank you, Dad. Why are we so polite, father and daughter? Su Daqiang said, By the way, don't tell anyone about me transferring money to you. Don't worry, your second brother, that spendthrift, is cheating again. Got it, Dad. <laughs>